Persian has had a history of, well, not being a very good Pokemon. After its overused relevancy and underused excellence in Generation 1, thanks to the critical hit mechanics making Slash always land a critical hit, it's been on a substantial decline in every generation, except Generation 3 where it was underused for reasons unknown to humanity. Since then, it's been untiered and unranked in PU without fail, even in the recently developed Gen 4 and 5 PU tiers. Thankfully, it got a bit of special treatment in Generation 7 with its Alolan form, featuring a better stab typing for the offensive nasty plot sets, as well as cool unique properties like Parting Shot and the amazing ability Fur Coat, it looked like it could have a lot of potential. Sadly, this didn't stop Cantonian Persian from still being absolutely awful, but at the very least, Alolan Persian was a... Uh, a PU Pokemon. Yeah, not a very big step up. Alolan Persian simply didn't do enough to really justify putting on teams in higher tiers, it's got poor damage output even after a nasty plot boost, it's got poor special bulk, and weaknesses to several very prominent physical moves that work against its impressive physical bulk, really left it heavily power crept. In Generation 7 PU, it was at least fast and barely strong enough to work as a nasty plot sweeper thanks to Z-moves, and could potentially run a support set that used Z-parting shot to fully heal whatever it brought in, which was pretty cool. Unfortunately, this didn't hold up in Gen 8's substantially more powerful PU tier, and the Lord and Persian now sits in ZU, the tier below. Luckily for Persian, this isn't where its story ends, as there's another game I haven't mentioned yet. In Pokemon Let's Go, Alolan Persian is currently an overused Pokemon, and this isn't even a Gen 4 Electivire situation where it's a bad Pokemon stuck in OU. It's genuinely solid, even if it just barely scrapes into the tier, and it gives the Persian family its best performance in all of Smogon history. But before I go any further, I'd like to say thanks for watching! I'm really happy to see how many people are enjoying my content. We're getting really close to 500 subscribers, which is the milestone that gives me access to making community posts. So if you enjoy the rest of the video and want to see more, I'd be very grateful if you subscribe. Also, let me know in the comments what your favourite Persian variant is and why! Personally, I'm a big Berserker fan, look at the little guy. So what's the deal with Alolan Persian? It's got awful offensive stats, awful defensive stats, and doesn't even have fur coat or parting shot like it does in other games. As it turns out, it's everything else about Alolan Persian that makes it a good Pokemon. It's speed, it's typing, and it's move pull. It's important to keep in mind how few dark type Pokemon there are in Let's Go. Your complete list consists of Mega Gyarados, Alolan Muck, Alolan Raticate, and Alolan Persian, and that's it. Alolan Persian first saw use in Let's Go as a late game sweeper with Nasty Plot. With Dark Pulse and Thunderbolt, it could hit everything in the game neutrally at worst, and it was able to outspeed some teams entirely. This usage of Alolan Persian fell out of favour, however, as it was hard to threaten the opponent enough to get an opportunity to set up a Nasty Plot safely, and it often failed to sweep teams after a boost anyway unless they were weakened to an unreasonable extent. Even if it did manage to get into a situation to sweep, there were first and mega evolutions that could easily take it out, mainly Alakazam and Aerodactyl, and those have only grown in popularity over time. Its role as a fast sweeper these days is usually done more effective by stuff like the aforementioned mega evolutions, as well as Shell Smash Cloister and agility users like Dragonite. So how could Alolan Persian possibly alleviate its statistical disadvantage without taking the setup route? Well as it turns out, the answer was to use the opponent's stats instead. Foul play is a move that isn't used very often in Let's Go. This can be largely attributed to the fact that almost every Pokemon with it has more useful options for its role. Alolan Muck already has good attack, and would rather use Crunch so it can threaten Mega Alakazam, and for almost every other Pokemon, the lack of same type attack bonus makes it pitifully weak against most targets. The exception, of course, is Alolan Persian. It just so happens that the vast majority of Pokemon in Let's Go OU either have decent attack stats or are psychic type, or in the case of Mew, both. Even the likes of Zapdos and Mega Blastoise, who are absolutely special attackers, have high enough attack that Alolan Persian's foul play deals upwards of 30% of their health and damage. Foul play isn't all that Alolan Persian has in the move pool department either. Worried about Zapdos or Chansey switching in and healing off everything the cat can do to them? It's got a taunt for that. Worried about having to predict something switching in that Alolan Persian won't do well against? Don't worry, that's what U turns for. Foul play's solid damage on most targets, combined with a great speed stat and low number of viable dark resists, can make Alolan Persian a surprisingly difficult Pokemon to switch in against. Speaking of its speed, base 115 is absolutely amazing, as it lets Alolan Persian outspeed and take out two major threats in Alolan, Dugtrio, and Gengar, as well as making it one of the elite club of Pokemon that outspeeds Mew and threatens to two-hit KO it outright. It's also one of the only Pokemon that can outspeed and taunt Mew at lead to prevent Stealth Rock and then pivot out with U-Turn, which is especially valuable on Mega Beedrill teams which really hate Stealth Rock. Additionally, it can form a pretty annoying U-Turn call with the B, as it can threaten critical damage on Beedrill switch-ins like Melmetal or Healthy Zapdos. 
Of course, Alone on Persian isn't without its flaws. Its typing is actually pretty poor on the defensive side, and it doesn't enable it to reliably answer anything, especially in conjunction with its poor bulk. For example, you might expect a dark type to help with checking Mega Alakazam, but nope, Alone on Persian is just KO'd outright by Dazzling Gleam, even without Stealth Rock. That's especially unfortunate when you run it on Mega Beedrill teams, as that's already an archetype that tends to be weak to Mega Alakazam by default. It also takes over 50% from Mew's U-turn, and not much less from Zapdos's, which is, uh, pretty bad, and prevents Alolan Persian from being used to switching against its cat Brethren. It also can't really hurt Alolan Muck that heavily, which can be annoying. However, some Alolan Persian teams can take advantage of the damage it does force on Alolan Muck in order to make sweeping with their Mega Alakazam easier later on. It's a similar case versus Melmetal, who only takes around 30% from foul play, but whose health is often too valuable to really afford taking that kind of damage repeatedly. With these factors in mind, Alolan Persian is most commonly seen on Mega Alakazam teams these days, or in Mega Beedrill teams when a player doesn't expect their opponent to use Mega Alakazam. It's far from the most defining of used Pokemon, and its flaws are definitely significant ones, but its unique toolkit can really shine with smart play. As for regular Persian in Let's Go, don't even bother. Sure it doesn't have Alolan Persian's weakness to U-turn, but the lack of stab on foul play means that there's just no real way for it to do any damage, and it doesn't even have the luxury of having a good nasty plot set because its best special stab is Hyper Beam. So what do you guys think about the Persian forms? Would you buff them, and if so, how would you buff them? I'm interested to see what you guys can come up with. Personally, I think it gives them a little bit more attack and special attack so that they can actually do enough damage to be relevant when they're on the field. Regardless, thank you for watching the video! If you enjoyed the video and want to learn more about Let's Go and talk with me, consider joining the Let's Go Discord. Links in the description. See ya!